Welcome to Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack, celebrating 55 years of ministry. Andrew, I just, I can't thank you enough for taking the vision that God showed you and being so faithful with it. You honor God's Word, you honor His Spirit. Thank you for listening to God because so many lives have been changed. And now, here's Andrew. Welcome to a very special edition of the Gospel Truth broadcast. You know, this is the 55th year anniversary of when the Lord changed my life. And I've spent a lot of time, uh, I, I go back and remember all of the time, but I've, especially on this 55th anniversary, I've spent a lot of time just thinking about all that God has done in my life. And I tell you, it's supernatural. It really is. This isn't just personal, although it is personal, but God has touched me and used what He's done in my life to literally touch millions of people. And the growth that we've seen and the extent of our television outreach, our Bible school, all the materials and just so many other things, it's miraculous. So I asked my staff if they would just help me to somehow or another celebrate this because I believe that it's not only an anniversary for me, but this is a blessing to so many people. So my staff has put together a little thing where I just walk around and greet some of our staff, ask them to talk about what's happening in their department and their segment of the ministry. And I believe that this will bless you. And really, this isn't about me. This is about the faithfulness of God. And if God will do this for me, He'll do it for anybody. I think that this will encourage you. So listen and watch this as we celebrate 55 years of ministry. Since March 23, 1968, Andrew has had many chances to give up. From the terrors of war to the hardships of pastoring a small church in Seagoville, Texas. From the uncertainty of teaching to an invisible audience on radio for decades to a Bible college that outgrew every building we tried to put it in. Though today, Andrew Womack Ministries and Karis Bible College has locations on every time zone, teachings in every major language, and a television audience that reaches a potential viewership of 5 billion people worldwide, the harvest we see today comes from seeds so tiny that many would have cast them aside. To celebrate 55 years of ministry, Andrew wanted to visit his staff and celebrate the tremendous growth God has brought to AWM and Karis since 1968, the fruit of a life dedicated to teaching the Word, a reflection on the faithfulness of our Heavenly Father, and a lesson on trusting the Holy Spirit when things didn't make sense in the natural. This is 55 Years with Andrew Womack, the harvest that comes when you don't give up. Hello, I'm Andrew Womack, and we're celebrating 55 years since the Lord touched my life, March the 23rd, 1968. And uh, we just want to do a little update and celebrate and share with you some of the great things that God has done. It is nothing short of miraculous. All right, so now we are downstairs on the bottom level of our ministry offices, and we're heading to production where I'm going to talk to Stephen Bransford. He has been with me for 24 years in TV, and I tell you, this guy is a godsend. Prior to meeting Stephen, Andrew had taught his revelation of God's unconditional love and grace on radio for 20 years to moderate success. But as he reached the new millennium, Andrew felt the Holy Spirit leading his ministry to the larger platform of broadcast television. Okay, let's try it again. Sorry. Wait a minute. I'm not as good at video as I am at radio. The only problem? He had just $70,000 to get started. From that tiny seed, God brought him Stephen Bransford a veteran of TV and writing who recognized that from Andrew's gift in teaching, they only needed one thing to get started, a single camera. Man, you've been with us for 24 years now. Yeah, it started in 1999. And I was just sitting here. I, was, I have great affection for this table. My wife and I bought this for you for your first set in 1999. And you have sat in that same chair, even though we've recovered it and we put a new granite top on it. Yeah. 
but it's the same table and chair that we got for the first set. And you delivered the gospel from that chair as you do today. When I hired you, you said, I don't, I've never heard you. I don't know anything about you. I think Megan, your wife, had heard me. You said, let me get to know you. When I was doing my research, learning about who you were, I went on a little website that was done by one of your partners in Arizona at the time, and the first thing I saw was your story. March 23rd, 1968, the story of what God did in your life, and from it flows the ministry that God would ordain. Welcome to the Gospel Truth Broadcast, and today you are going to hear one of the most amazing testimonies that I believe you've ever heard, so stay tuned and prepare to be blessed. From that first broadcast, Andrew's ministry grew as they faithfully released episode after episode without missing a day. Though the gospel truth only reached 3% of America's population in the beginning, the partners and students that joined Andrew's vision enabled him to pick up new networks and create a larger set. Now, nearly 7,000 episodes strong, Andrew's reach has expanded to a potential audience of 5 billion people worldwide. Though his main program still uses the single-camera approach that launched him on television, his other media outreaches, such as our Karis Daily Live Bible Study, University Series, and Truth and Liberty Call-In Show, requires three sets, two studios, and a filming schedule that baffles even Andrew. How many live casts do we have per week? We're going to be over 12. So, And that's if we don't, that's not including any of the extra shoots, like Daily Show, Inside story. Is 624 live cast per year. And then we do other things beyond that, like I've yeah. got uh, conferences that I hold via live cast in Italy, Africa, all kinds of things. Man, look at all these cameras. Yes, I guess I uh, bought all of these, didn't I? You did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, partners. You're the ones who bought all of this, and this allows us to do all of these broadcasts. Yes. Now we're talking about around 700 live broadcasts. Yes. But then I do 52 weeks, five times 52 is 260 television programs per year on top of that. So we're yeah. producing probably close to, what, a thousand broadcasts per year? Yeah. That is amazing. It is amazing. With millions of people tuning into Andrew on a daily basis, the demand for physical product has grown exponentially since 1968. Whereas in the beginning, Andrew copied his own cassette tapes using a shoebox and a tape recorder, the volume of requests for free product has grown so high in recent years that we've not only started several warehouses around the world, but also created a 90-day inventory plan that keeps our shelves stocked so that even in turbulent times, we have enough material for anyone in need. We're celebrating 55 years, and during the eight and a half years you've been here, how have you seen things change? If I'm not mistaken, I think we were like five or six weeks from the time we got an order to a fulfillment. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I first came in 2014, yeah, we, we did not have a 90-day inventory established or anything like that. Um, they were trying to make everything kind of on demand. And so one of my assignments when I came in was to develop a 90-day inventory system. Within about six to seven months, we probably had it down, so we were getting items out the door within about one or two days, and then we continue to improve from that. So That's now we get good, them from yeah. six weeks to one or two days. Yeah. In this room basically is where we are producing uh, many of our books, all of our study guides, uh, booklets. So over here, this is our book binder. This allowed us to still function yes. during yeah. COVID and right. uh, not only cut our costs down, but it just gives us more freedom. We aren't dependent on exactly. People. And here's Peggy. She's been with me for how many years? You tell me you know. I don't know. I know it's been a long time. It's 25 working and two years on the prayer line with Lisa and Cecil. And she shares a very unique thing with me, and that is her birthday. We were both born on the same day. I always tell people I'm so important. Andrew knows my birthday. There you go. She's a blessing. This is our media area over here. We can actually print and burn anywhere between, again, 2,500 and 3,000 discs on a daily basis. 
This is a big difference than when I first started duplicating tapes between two cassette recorders with the patch cord. Actually, I started without a patch cord and I'd put them both in a shoebox to cut out all of the outside noise. Then I got high tech and put a patch cord in and then we got a wall and sec duplicator that could duplicate two tapes at one time and then we put them in a string and now look what God's done. On the other side of the property, Andrew paid a visit to our communication services department. Started by a handful of volunteers in 1991, our communication services department now has the most employees in the entire organization, with staff providing free prayer and encouragement 24-7, as well as bilingual ministers and a partner relations team who give outgoing calls to the very people making this all happen. But of all the people answering phones, there is one person not allowed to do so. I was answering phones. And I was getting in and help, and they kicked yeah. me off. We've heard stories about that. Because we never quite heard why. I told, them, I told somebody, just pull your thumb out of your mouth and grow up. And they said, you can't say that. Yeah. And I said, it's yeah. my phone. Too. But anyway, so you guys do a great, great job. How many calls did we take last year? Uh, over 873,000. 20% of our calls are for partnership base or for product. The other 80 are for prayer, for ministry. And man, God's doing some awesome things. So out here we have where all the phone ministers will sit and take the calls or make outbound calls. This row is full of our support staff. Now these are the ones that really make what we do here possible. We have support staff for the phone ministers. We have trainers down here. We have our recruiters who recruit and hire people from all across the country. Um, these are the ones that make what we do possible. With a phone center handling nearly a million calls per year, a written correspondence team, and a prison ministry ushering in revival to the penitentiary, our communication services team has come quite a ways from that early band of volunteers. But even with all this quantity, our prayer ministers have prioritized God's patience and love so that anyone calling in gets a quality time of exhortation and encouragement for whatever breakthrough they need. I walk through here and say hi to the prayer ministers and stuff like that. And most of them are on the phones. And I will be walking by and somebody will go in the name of Jesus. And boy, yes. they're binding the devil yeah. and they're releasing the love of God. And it's just that. awesome. Yep. In fact, sometimes I get a little loud here, as I know, <laughs> because I'm just getting so excited and using yeah. the authority, obviously, you've taught us. And uh, it is really fun, though, because it works. I always say the word works if you work it. And so we're just standing together with that caller. and. It is amazing. Like I said, the testimonies that are coming out of here, the growth in this ministry, and you know, due to a lot of what you've taught us as the foundation. Perhaps the biggest foundation Andrew got from March 23, 1968, goes to the need for discipleship, which brings us to Karis Bible College. Started in 1994 in a small former police station off Robinson Street, Karis has grown into an international school that raises thousands of disciples across every time zone. With Mike and Carrie Pickett overseeing all of its operations, Andrew caught up with them in between classes to discuss some of the tremendous growth the school has seen over the last three decades. And so here's Carrie right here. Hi there. Did you just come from teaching? I did. I came up all the stairs. All right. Well, let's come in here. And so we're interrupting a meeting or something, but this is Mike and Carrie Pickett. And uh, so you're going to have to use this mic okay. to talk, but you came to school in when? I came in 1997 through 1999. Wow. So anyway, when you graduated, you went to Russia basically kind of on your own. We didn't offer anything other than we love you and praying for you. Bye. No, and they were praying and they were great prayers. And uh, yeah, no, it was awesome to see what God did. So we went over to Russia and started the first Missions Karis Bible College. Like Andrew, Mike and Carrie stayed faithful in their calling. And after 16 years of sowing, they reaped a harvest so bountiful that it made Andrew the most watched minister in Russia. Now, as the vice presidents of Karis Bible College, the Pickets continue to raise up disciples of all nations. And our schools bring in more students than ever before. So in the United States, we have about around 750 students here. Of course, we have just over 1,000. And then uh, internationally, we have, including international online, we have over 5,000 students. And so globally, between nine and 10,000 students. And then there's over 10 plus thousand students that have been alumni and then all the different areas. And it's just exciting to see the same gospel is going out around the world. 
This year is what 25 years of international operations. So 25 years ago, you started England, and then 20 years ago, this is also the 20 year anniversary of stateside operations. And so within this 55 years, and then next year's 30 years of Caris, Colorado. So yeah. there's just so many anniversaries of things that the Lord has built and accomplished in these 55 years. With a Karis in every time zone and our curriculum and teachings translated into every major language, Andrew headed back to the Ministry HQ to pay a visit to Andrew Wartz and Billy Epperhart, who oversee the staffing and financial operations making all of this possible. What we're doing is celebrating 55 years worth of growth. And of course, you don't have 55 years worth of history with me, but 18 or 20 years is still quite a bit. You've seen quite a change, haven't you? Oh, man, it's, it's been incredible. So when uh, my wife and I were hired on, we think there were about 20 employees at the time. Wow. And I just looked this morning, so we've got about 830 in, uh, in the States and over 1,100 globally now. So from 20 to 1,100. And uh, a couple other things I was looking at. So you had 6,300 partners in 2003, wow. and now you've got 63,000. When I started, it was Jamie and me for decades. This is Jamie in my office. I wanted to you were showing around. And this is Jamie and the one, the only Jamie Ann. And right now we're sharing an office. And we did everything ourselves. And now we have 1,100 employees. And I actually only deal with five people. I deal with Billy and Andrew and Stephen Bransford and Mike and Carrie Pickett, and they run the ministry. And I actually have more free time than I've ever had. I've got less pressure on me than I've ever had with more responsibilities, more of everything, and it's because of people like Andrew. So to me, that's, the, that's probably the biggest thing that has happened in 55 years is just to see the quality of people that God brings to us. It's awesome. To steward the ministry's growth since 1968, God has always brought Andrew the right leaders for the right time. We had David Hardesty, who helped bring our small staff in Manitou into a 130,000 square foot warehouse on Elkton Drive, where it flourished into several hundred employees. And then Paul Milligan, who oversaw the move from Colorado Springs to the ministry's new home in Woodland Park, where our growth exploded in students and staffing. And now we have Billy Epperhart, our CEO, who has drawn from his lifetime of ministry, leadership, and real estate to help Andrew fulfill his largest vision yet. So this is Billy Epperhart. I'll let you hold this so that you can talk. Hey, how long can I button my jacket? Yeah. <laughs> People have heard me talk about my vision and all these things we're going to build. What's this going to be financially? You're the one that well, deals just with all the, campus, the financial part. Just the campus alone, I think we have a few other things that are there. What you have planned and what you've drawn up so far, based on my calculations, we'll have a total of about a billion dollars in land and buildings that we'll have in this campus in the next 10 to 12 years. A lot of people, when they see you on television, you know, they appreciate your message. They appreciate what you share from the Word. But I don't think they have a real understanding of the scope and the size of the ministry is today. And right now, just the size, just the number of employees and the financial size of this ministry, we're in the very elite of the top three ministries probably anywhere in the world. You probably have 50 to 100 million people that follow you daily on television. That is an astronomical number. If you compare that even to some of the best TV shows that are out there in the Arbitron ratings, they don't have that kind of viewership. So it's amazing to see what the Lord has done here. And it's incredible. And, and really, truthfully, the best is yet to come. With Andrew's television broadcast reaching more people than ever before, Karis Bible College has developed its own TV shows so that the gospel can continue to go further and deeper. Overseen by Robert and Elizabeth Murin, Karis Studios has focused not only on shows for Carrie Pickett and Billy Epperhart, but original children's programming, Bible-based films, and theatrical productions, ways of sharing the gospel that Andrew had no idea he'd be part of back on March 23, 1968. We're talking about what God has done in 55 years, and you know, I'm not sure that I ever saw productions, musicals, 
being a part of my ministry, but I always liked those kind of things. And then I met you over in England. Yes. You gave me a little video that you had shot yes. of a production that you did called, uh, what was The it? Covenant. The Covenant. And when I saw it, I remember getting real bold and I said, Elizabeth, could you come over here and do this? Yeah. With what we have learned with you and the revelation that lives in this house, I just want to see uh, more people um, receive it. Not only the ones that are looking for teaching or interested uh, in watching Christian TV, it sneaks and hits people straight in the heart and they just don't know what Sneak hit up them. on them. Yes, I like that. <laughs> Making Kara Studios possible, our friends and partners helped Andrew buy the sanctuary property in 2010 and build two properties debt-free. As more students than ever before leave our classrooms to raise disciples around the world, Andrew's vision from March 23, 1968 has only gotten bigger. With America's Third Great Awakening bringing in more believers in need of a biblical foundation, Andrew has followed the Holy Spirit's leading to begin a construction project unlike anything he has seen in the last 55 years. And just like how God brought Andrew the right leaders at the right time, world-renowned builder John Reich has joined Andrew on his endeavor to create a campus that will change the world. Hello, John. Here, yeah. you need to hold this mic so that they can hear what you've got to say. Okay. But John came to us. Tell her you, I, I know you were involved in the Pittsburgh and the Jacksonville sports complex. You were building a $1.8 billion building in Las Vegas. Yep, sure was. And, and then I got a call from God. God laid I'm a here. Heart to come here. So <laughs> what a blessing to have somebody that has had this experience and everything. So we've got plans for six dorms, 40 people per dorm. And those six dorms, this road right here behind us, you go down that way, and the first dorm will be way down there at down the end the right, of the right, just behind the pile is A, B, C, D, and then the road that goes up to E and F. So we're kind of celebrating 55 years and all that God has done. And, man, I can remember back when 55 years ago when the Lord touched me, I was so poor I couldn't pay attention. And Jamie and I struggled financially, went weeks without food, and now to be talking about a potential of 500 million to a billion dollars worth of buildings in the next 10 years is just nothing but God. And so with 55 years behind us and our future brighter than ever, the harvest we are seeing now demonstrates what happens when we don't give up on the calling God has placed in our heart. As Andrew prepares for even greater times to come, he never forgets the people who have made all this possible from the very beginning, you, his friends and partners. I hope that you've enjoyed this little uh, stroll down memory lane. Boy, it's special to me, 55 years ago, and look what God has done. Look at God and all of the things, and, and the future is bright. I believe that the next 10 years is going to be the greatest growth that we've ever seen. So I tell you, I'm just celebrating. Praise God. Those of you who have, are partners with us, I thank you a hundred times over for everything you've done. Couldn't have done any of this without you. And if you aren't a partner with us, we'd love to have you join with us because, man, the best is yet to come. There's a lot going on, and God bless you. I think we're going to see wonderful, awesome things happen. People's lives are going to be changed, and we are a part of the third great awakening. God bless you. If you've been watching my program any length of time, you know that we are expanding our Karis Bible College. We are beginning to build housing for a thousand students. And then we are building a student activity center and a athletic center, hotel and conference center, and a performing arts center, all the infrastructure, the roads, bridges. There's just a lot of things that we're doing and it's gonna cost hundreds of millions of dollars. And sometimes when you talk about that much money, people think, well, what can I do? Did you know we've got millions of people that watch this program on a regular basis? I, we have over five billion people that can watch it, and if only 1% of the potential watched this program, that would still be 50 million people watching this program. Did you know if 50 million people responded with $1 per month, Man, we'd be able to build anything and everything that we want. 
I know that not all of those people are going to respond, but I'm asking you that if you have been blessed by this program and if you want to enable me, help me to reach out to these students and provide the facilities that we need, if you would just give on a regular basis over the next 10 years is what I'm projecting this building is going to go, uh, man, it, it could be done easily. So I'm asking you just to pray about it and see if the Lord wants you to participate. Don't just forget it, but think about it, pray about it. Go to our website, awmi.net slash campus, and we have a flyover where you see the entire campus, 500 plus acres. You can go inside the buildings and see what they're going to look like. And there's also a place there that you could become a foundation builder, a monthly partner with this. Go to awmi.net slash campus. We hope you've been blessed and inspired watching today's broadcast celebrating Andrew Womack's 55th anniversary in ministry. If you'd like to own this special documentary, be sure to order this special DVD today for a gift of any amount. Andrew is offering his booklet, Four Basics of Hearing God's Voice, as his free gift to you today. This booklet is limited to one free booklet per household and is available in the US, UK, Canada, and Australia. Contact us today to receive your free booklet. Andrew's complete series, Four Basics of Hearing God's Voice, is available in a CD or TV DVD album and as a USB made from our daily television broadcast. This teaching is also available as a DVD album or USB recorded live at a ministry event. Each of these valuable resources is available for a gift of any amount when you contact us. This entire series is also available for audio download absolutely free from our website. We want to say a special thank you to the Grace Partners of Andrew Womack Ministries. Your gifts make it possible to put free ministry materials into the hands of many people in need. If you're not already a Grace Partner, we ask you to pray about becoming one today. You can become a Grace Partner through our website at awmi.net. While there, you can discover more product details and download additional free resources. You can also order resources or receive prayer by calling our helpline at 719-635-1111. To write us, use the address on your screen. We appreciate your generosity and hope to hear from you today. Andrew has many conferences and seminars around the globe each year. For the latest information on Andrew's complete speaking schedule, visit our website at awmi.net slash events. For 20 years, Andrew Womack has been sharing the message of God's unconditional love and grace through his half-hour television program Monday through Friday. Now, Andrew is broadcasting a full hour-long teaching each week. When God finds somebody who wants to be a giver and wants to bless somebody else, He will give seed to the sower. He will give seed to people who will sow it and give it to other people. Watch the weekend edition of Gospel Truth with Andrew Womack.